Queen Anne's County, I'm very proud to announce, was the recipient a third year in a row of the Gold Award from American Heart Association Mission Lifeline. What that means is basically our clinicians, our career paramedics and our EMTs, along with our volunteer support services, identify a cardiac, which uh, a heart attack occurring in the field. They recognize it early and we're looking at, they're getting on scene, they're assessing the patients, they're getting their 12 lead EKGs. And not only are they recognizing it and calling a heart attack early, they're transmitting that EKG to a cardiac center, such as our partners at Easton or Anne Arundel Medical Center, and that's allowing the ER and the cardiac team that goes into the cardiac catheterization lab to be ready. So when we hit the door, we're almost going straight to the cath lab. So we're reducing morbidity or mortality, or what is the worst case scenario to the patient, by identifying it early and getting them to the emergency room and then getting them to the definitive care of the catheterization lab. In Queen Anne's County, we're really lucky because we have within reach probably the best hospitals anywhere in the world between Johns Hopkins, UMS, University of Maryland, Anne Arundel, and all the rank of hospitals on the other side of the bridge. And what we needed to have was a transport system that could get you there alive. And so what we've worked on for 10 years and I think now arrived at is having the best possible transport system that you can put together. And we go over there on a regular basis and try to see how we can make it better. If there's any protocol, drug, training, equipment, we will put it in that system so as to try to make it better. And our fabulous team has lived up to the equipment and uh, we're doing great. I'm extremely proud of the department for winning the gold award this year. One of our highlights in the department is our EMS division and how they handle cardiac care. And this just illustrates the excellence that we have in the field. I say it a million times, I've said it in front of our county commissioners, we have the most dedicated staff. They have continued to being professional, assertive, giving their all. When other jurisdictions, you know, face things that we have to slow back, shut back, we've continued to serve. And that's the thanks of the support of the commissioners and of course of the director of the department. We are a proud set of commissioners because of the department winning this very prestigious award. And that's pretty big because, to our knowledge, the only other recipient on the Eastern Shore was the city of Salisbury, and they received silver this year, which is still very prestigious. In our first year, we got silver, but we have been pushing our providers to try to achieve the gold standard, and we're going to try to achieve that every year. We have done everything we can to support this department. We think that what we wanted to have in this county, what our citizens want, is the best department in the state of Maryland, if not the United States. And it's between good teamwork, good communications, and I'm happy to say that your chances of surviving a heart attack in Queen Anne's County is better than other places.